AP testing begins on May 8th with the AP English Lit and Comp exam. Eric has more on our AP exams. Now that we're in the second semester, there's only so much time left to study for your AP test. The AP exams start in late April to early May. Now, of course, passing your AP exam gives you a college credit for set class, so the benefits are already there. AP classes also raise your GPA more than any other class, although they are obviously more advanced. There are tons of benefits to taking these classes and the test. The benefit of AP classes are that if you pass the test, you get college credit, and so you not only get high school credit, you also get college credit. Do you think the benefit is worth the struggle in AP classes? I mean, it definitely can be, depending on what you want to do. Although these classes are difficult, there's some fun that comes with the AP classes. It's great competitive fun challenging yourself and the others in their class. Um, not really, because it's a lot of work. But, I mean, in the end, if you really put your heart into it, it could be beneficial. But, of course, AP classes are some of the most difficult classes in high school. But with great risk comes great reward. Passing gives you a high school credit plus a college credit setting you up for the future. You have to pass the AP test in order to get that college credit. If you don't pass the AP test, then you just get the high school credit. We highly encourage you to start studying right now, and we wish you the best of luck on your AP exam. I'm Eric Tirado, Broncos Broadcasting Network.